that water. Amazing. This is Kralendijk, the capital of Bonaire. Out there is Klein Bonaire. I'm going to take a water taxi over there in like an hour and uh, to some other beaches. So a uh, day of exploring on this amazing island. It is just my uh, second day of exploring. And so far, so good. Looks amazing. And there's actually lots of fish in the water here. So I'm going to swim around here and see what I can find. So I saw a lot more fish when I was swimming over there yesterday. Going to uh, grab my backpack, it's right over there, and head over there and see if I can see some more. Such epic water. All right, I'm going to uh, get out of the water here, start uh, walking into town there, and get ready to uh, catch that water taxi and show a little bit of Kralendijk here. Also called Playa, the uh, local name for it, which of course means the beach. And so I'm staying at a hotel right over there for about uh, $60 a night. Looks like scooters, 25 bucks a day. And so here in Bonaire, they just use the US dollar. They don't have their local currency. Bonaire is one of the ABC islands, including Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao. I've already been to Aruba and Curaçao. They're all really nice. This is called the Dutch Caribbean because they are Dutch colonized islands. And so Bonaire is part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. And so far, it is looking really, really nice. And so here is a uh, water taxi also to Klein Bonaire, but this is different from the one that I am taking. The one that I'm taking goes to another beach as well. It looks like this one doesn't go to the uh, extra beach. So that's good to know though. Every day at 10, 12, and 2 p.m. And so the water taxi leaves from right over here. I can see the uh, boat there. This one right here. So I'll cruise down here and show a little more of Kralendijk. And so it's one nice thing about uh, Bonaire here versus uh, Aruba and Curaçao that you can just jump in the water right from the main town. That wasn't the case at the other islands. You had to catch a uh, bus or drive or whatever up to a beach. Of course, there are lots of other beaches to explore around here, but if you're staying in town and just want to uh, get a dip in the water, then just uh, walk right over to it and amazing water and not uh, big waves. Apparently on the other side of the island is where the uh, more rough waves are, more windy on that side of the island. Also here it's a protected bay. And then there again is a uh, Klein Bonaire. Yeah. Ah, okay. But I'm not from here. Yeah, but you were born in Dominican. 
this looks amazing here it gets deeper and lots of fish it looks like Eden Beach we're not actually staying here so uh, I'll have to come back later maybe after uh, Klein Bonaire there it is beers be here for like an hour and a half or something nest here. You are standing on Bonaire's most important sea turtle nesting beach. Two endangered species, the hawksbill and loggerhead, nest on Klein Bonaire. Sea turtle nesting season is from April to December. The importance of this area for turtle nesting helped secure support for the purchase of this island from its private owners in 1999. The island Klein Bonaire. The government purchased the island in December 1999 for $5 million. It's an uninhabited crescent-shaped island. Half mile from Bonaire. You are here.
And so I'm back at Eden Beach here. Amazing spot. This water is spectacular. 